what change is coming. So our teacher for today is from Manila, Philippines. Her name is Jovelyn. She was a physical therapist and loves to play piano at her spare time. She was a private tutor for, for a private tutoring tutorial learning center at her country. She has been teaching basic Spanish for Korean primary students for five months and teaching English as well to the Latin American countries for a year. She loves to communicate to other people and know their different cultures. She speaks Tagalog, English, Spanish, and learning Italian. Welcome, Javelin, and thank you for teaching here. Thank you, Ms. Nelly. Good morning. Hi, Sir James. Nice to Hi, Javelin. Meet you so here. glad to see you. Uh, yeah, I me too, because we're only on the WhatsApp group. <laughs> Like Nelly, uh, I echo that sentiment. Thank you so much for teaching here. Yeah, I'm always be here if I have a uh, time to share my talent in English. I'm with you with your mission, Sir James. You know that. <laughs> I'm so happy about that. It's nice to have a partner partnership. Yeah, thank you. Or also for the friendship. Okay, so um um welcome our um learners here students from around the world Nawahar ali rania if you would like to open your camera please so i can see your beautiful faces okay can i share my screen Okay, so our topic for today is an interesting topic one. So welcome uh, everyone for James Green English Classroom. My name is Jovelyn Dagal from Philippines. So, okay. Champions keep playing until they get it right. So anybody could... Uh, Say who are the champions who are speaking here. <laughs> Hello. Okay, do you see now my screen? I do see your screen. Okay, thanks for confirming, Sir James. So, Champions Keep Playing Until They Get It Right by Billie Jean King. It's a motivation for the champions or uh, I would say that mm -hmm. uh, players or someone who keeps playing on the game and they keep um, reaching their goal until they become a winner. So, uh, what can you say about this motivational coach? Uh, Ali, or anybody, anyone from the group, Navar, Rania. I would say that it is, um, it matches my experience, which is that the first time I try something, I usually don't get it right. And even many times after that, when I try to do something, I don't get it right. It takes me time to get something right. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> me too. Even in the first time, uh, you cannot master um, a skill or a game or anything. If uh, you do it only on more once, you should repeat it, repeat again, and repeat again until you master a skill or a game, or whatever. Anyone else? T teaching is one example for me of something that took me time to get right. I was teaching for years 
maybe hundreds of times, years and years, hundreds of times, making so many mistakes, not even knowing what, what mistake am I making? I don't know. I just know I am miserable and I, but I still kept at it. I was still teaching or trying to teach or coming back to teaching after giving up and then coming back to teaching. So it really took a long, long time of failure and not getting it right and um, trying different things before I started to learn, oh, 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 that's what's, oh, that's what's happening. Okay, okay, let me try something different. Let me try this, let me try that. Yeah, I agree with you. You discover something new when every uh, uh, variety of teachings you're coming, um, you di you discover every teaching uh, aspect. It's just like um, you know, um, a gem become when it is uh, become uh, golden or shiny. You should uh, keep it polished, make the right angle, make the gems more until it become gold, <laughs> until it became a masterpiece. So yeah, that's correct. Anyone else? Hello, James, how are you? How are you to all the class? Do you hear to me? Hi, Bubak. Yeah, James, how are yes. you? Yes. So this is Bubak from Niger. And uh, I think we I have to discuss about the topic we we share on the screen, right? Mm, yes. Yes. Uh, okay. That's uh, I think about, uh, you know, to keep uh, going and to never give up if you want really to achieve something. And that's what uh, you and James uh, were talking about. Yeah. So anyone else? The thing so, that yeah, I think we talk about a spot here where I'm living. Yeah, so that's the next uh, question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's okay. Uh, the, you can answer that if you want, Boba. It's a football, you know. People really like so much playing football because they are next, um, you know, some European countries and they are their uh, popular sport is a foot. So we have uh, here uh, a lot of uh, fun of uh, social. Yeah, that's it, I think. Anyone else? Hello, guys. How are you doing? Hi. I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you're asking about a sport which is popular where I live. Yes. Okay, you can state your country. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Um, well, for me, as I live in a coastal city, so swimming is a very popular sport here. You know, we have to learn how to swim. <laughs> Uh, I guess it's the most popular sport in my country. Uh, so please, which uh, countries is it? Well, I live in uh, Alexandria, Egypt. Ah, okay. It seems <laughs> uh, to rain so much there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you guys for listening to me.
So Rania said that uh, the popular sports in Egypt is uh, swimming. Am I correct? Yeah, you are um, correct. Yeah, but not in all Egypt. You know, I live in a city called Alexandria. It's a coastal city, so we have so many beaches and uh, the Mediterranean Sea. So not all of Egypt <laughs> lays there. It's only some few cities lays on the Mediterranean Sea, and my city is one of them. Okay, uh, but uh, Boba, uh... Which country you are originally from? Again. So I am from Niger, but right now I am living in Morocco. Morocco, a football is famous in your country. Yeah, but so if I take in my country, uh, there is uh, another type of uh, game that really people uh, like. That is uh, a cultural. I don't know the name in English, but it's a uh, it's a uh, look like uh, a box, you know. It's look like a box. Maybe two 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 player can come and uh, try to to you know to battle in the in the in the great space, and people are surrounding. We have all our supporter and. Yeah, that's how it works, but it is not football that is common in my countries. Okay, so here in the Philippines where I live, um, the uh, popular sport is, do you know, um, Mani Pacquiao? The famous Manny Pacquiao, a boxer. So, boxing is popular here and also basketball. And um, there are many sports here usually. Uh, billiard is also a sports in the Philippines. You know, Efren Bata Reyes make a name on the world. Yeah, so do you know wrestling? Wrestling. Wrestling. Yeah. Yeah, but I in the Philippines, the wrestling is not common here. Ah, okay. Because that is a popular uh, sport in my country. That was a word that I was looking for. Yeah. This is wrestling, of, in fact. Ah, wrestling in your uh, Morocco. Uh, not Morocco, in Niger. Morocco is a popular game. I think it's a football. People uh, football. really like football, yeah. Yeah. Okay. For you, why are sports important? Uh, so, uh, you know, sport is very uh, first because uh, for your health, you know. It's uh, very important. And secondly, it's uh, help you to forget if you have some problem, you know, you can forget during your football. And, and also we can enjoy which order, you know, that's all a uh, reason that uh, sport is uh, really important. And I think uh, it's also can really help you to keep uh, to keep you, you know, uh, shape. You will really uh, feel uh, always help with you if you are doing sports, and you can't really uh, become uh, old uh, so fast. If you practice sport, sport uh, regularly, I 
I, yeah, I, I don't correct. know. I don't know if you get me. It's, if you uh, get yes. my point. Yes, you said that um, the benefits of sports are uh, you get healthy, you can run faster, and also um, uh, you can have a healthy body. Yeah. And also, you know, psychologically, you know, it uh, can really help you. Maybe sometime, or even if you are facing some issues, when you go, uh, uh, you you play some, I, I don't know, one hour or uh, uh, 30 minutes of, uh, of uh, foot, you can really forget a lot of things. And that's can help you to recover. That's why foot uh, is uh, so important, playing As football. Of sports. Okay. Yeah. So you mentioned that uh, you can have a stress reliever or also I call this, uh, your problems will be solved. <laughs> Am so, I correct? <laughs> not at all, but uh, you can forget all your problems. Uh, okay. when you are doing uh, at, at the moment you are uh, doing the sport because you enjoy you you laugh with your friend you you smile that's really you know uh, also an sport and also uh, a moment to to relax also yes that that is correct. So uh, we have types of sports. We have individual, we have dual sports and team sports. I would add to the team sports benefits that when you do sports like me, uh, I play table tennis and also I uh, have a discipline on myself. It will uh, help me to become disciplined as you play the sports. Yeah. I think I agree with you at this point. Sometimes just after running, just after making some few time of sport, when you back home, even and when you want to 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 try to do some some activities, you realize that you have more focus, you know, and we are more concentrated because uh, sport is so helpful. I think you are, I get your point. Anyone would like to add what Bubak said? Uh, yes, Javelin, I would like to add something for me, for my personal experience. I, um, I do sports. Uh, to, to keep fit actually because I I, f I follow a healthy lifestyle and a healthy diet too I am always careful uh, when I have my food um, I pick uh, uh, some kinds that are healthy so I have to do sports to keep uh, this lifestyle uh, for me I practice walking I love walking uh, I walk every day in the morning um, uh, for about one hour and I do some exercise at home also because I don't have a chance to go anywhere to practice so uh, I do that at home and for me um, uh, uh, sports is, is very important it's the part of my day and I um uh, and, you know, it helps me also to, to release my um, negative energy. Uh, when I feel angry or I feel bad for anything, I just do sports or I feel better. So it's very important for me. Thank you. Thank you for sharing, Rania, how you love walking. <laughs> okay, we welcome yeah. others also. Uh, who come late, uh, George Rafi, Tara, and Liz from Indonesia. You can answer the question if you would like to, or just uh, use the buttons here, or you can unmute yourself, okay? 
So maybe we'll proceed. Who do you play sports with? So I think in my case, generally, I play sport with my friend when I was at home. Uh, but when I make my, my trip here, I usually uh, play a football with uh, my school uh, friend. Yeah, we generally organize uh, some activities uh, and sport are part of those activities. Um, for me, Jablin, I am um, mostly uh, I do sports alone. I work alone, and as I told you, I do I do it at home. Um, but sometimes I I have some friends to work with me and to just to encourage me, and um, we have a little chit chat <laughs> while working. But mostly I do it alone. Okay, for me, um, I would love to play with my son or uh, any church member because we usually do, uh, during Saturday, we play table tennis and some volleyball. <laughs> I'm like you, Rania. I love to walk. I love to walk. If uh, if I can, I try to make time for walking every day. Uh, no matter the weather, I walk in the winter time. Sometimes I even walk in the rain. I I feel like I I just need to walk. I like to listen. Yeah. I, I, I take my iPhone with me, right? So I I like I have lots of uh, recordings on my phone books and such things that I like to listen to and um, so I like to I like to walk and study at the same time yeah Mr. James I, I I do that too I always listen to something while walking you know just to feel that I'm um alone in in another world <laughs> I'm not I'm not connected to people around me so it, it is it's good to to use this uh, time of something beneficial. In, in the group, you know, because I like philosophy, we've been talking about philosophy a bit, and there's a group of philosophers called the Peripatetics. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Peria, Peripatetics. Peripatetics. I don't know how to how to pronounce it, but it's a group that started with Aristotle in ancient Greece, and they would just like to walk and do philosophy while they were walking. They would walk and talk. And so he, he'd walk around and ask his philosophical questions. And I feel very um, close to that kind of activity that I love to, you know, walk, listen to my philosophy lectures, or walk with a person, talking to them, even on my phone, you know, have a phone call while I walk or actually a person with me walking side by side, talking about different things. That's my, one of my favorite activities. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. No, and sometimes you listen to music too. It's amazing to, to listen to some music to feel relaxing. Yeah. Sometimes I listen to music. I, I What I would really like to do, what I would really like to do, but I don't do it. I would like to teach my English classes while I'm walking around. So <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, I, I don't I don't do it because I feel like I, I, I can't really give the class the attention that I want to give it. But if I could somehow I would do my English class and walk at the same time. If it, if it made sense, but it doesn't make sense to me right now. So why don't you give it a try, Mr. Jane? Yeah, give it a try. <laughs> I, I, I've done it before. It's I have done it before. I could do it again. I, 
I like, um, I miss something. Like seeing people like this, I feel I miss it. If I'm walking, I'm, I feel like I'm teaching blind. I feel like I'm just hearing people's voices and it doesn't, I don't feel like I'm um, as effective as a teacher when I'm, when I'm not seeing the names of people or the faces of people, so. Yeah, you mean eye contact, very important, yeah. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> okay, so next question, what are some sports you like watching and why? Sure, I can answer the question. Sure. Yes, teacher. See that, go. What are some sports you like watching and why? Uh, I watch, I'm watching football, just football. I don't like another sport because uh, when watching the sport like football, I am enjoy and am very comfortable. I, I learn a lot of things during the watching the, for example, match. And learn a lot of things in the match. Yes. Teacher, can you hear me? Uh, yes, you said football is popular in Iraq. Am I correct? And you love it watching and you learn so much. What are those things you learn from it? Yes. Thank you so much, teacher. You're welcome. Anyone else? What are some sports you like watching or why? Or what are some sports you dislike watching and why? Oh, that's easier for me. I, di <laughs> okay. I, I dislike watching all sports. I hate watching sports. Any sport. I, I, I don't like watching team sports. I don't like watching like individual sports ah okay so now that i'm talking i i think that this part there's a part of it that's not true um maybe some individual sports like rock climbing or other things that show someone doing something really incredible like high diving or martial arts, high, high skill martial arts. Um, there's something about that when when you see someone who is a um, master, a, phys a master of physical activity, there is something elegant and beautiful, inspiring to 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 see in that. And um, you, uh, Javelin, you said you like to play table tennis, ping pong. Yes, that is <laughs> so. Uh, I, I, um, one of the, one of the sports I remember seeing, uh, that was most inspiring to me was Bruce Lee, you know, the, the martial artist, uh, Kung Fu expert, Bruce Lee yes. play, playing table tennis using nunchucks. So instead of playing with a tennis paddle, he, you know, he has a weapon that he swings around wooden sticks on a chain. He was playing ping pong with the with the, his weapon. And I saw that video and I thought, it can't be real. It must be um, fake. Oh, it must be a, a fake, <laughs> fake video, right? Nobody could be so good at their their art, their 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 skill that they could do that. But I, I think it's real. I think it's real. It's a real video. You can maybe find it. Anyway, so that's what I like, dislike watching regarding sports. Yeah, I agree with you. I don't like watching team sports like basketball. I don't have patience on the TV, seeing too much longer. Or I like more than interesting one like rappelling, parachuting, uh, paragliding. Uh, the one that uh, an expert to that uh, particular sport or 
yeah, you said rock climbing. Yeah, I, I want that <laughs> to watch Sur because it's very interesting. Yeah, Sur surfing. I like to watch surfing, especially the waves that are incredibly high, like off the coast of Portugal. They, they have the waves that are uh, like hundreds of feet high. I love watching that and thinking, how could anybody do something like that? Yeah, that's correct. The surfing, yes, the big waves, and they didn't, they didn't fall. Yes, teacher. I can answer the question. Sure, I see that. Yes, teacher. Uh, yes, of course. There are many uh, sports I don't like. I like cricket and rugby and sometimes tennis. Because this game, I don't know who, when you. Uh, you are disconnected, see that we don't hear you. Maybe you have a problem or connection in your internet. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Yeah. So, uh, since he just got disconnected, I'll just mention that in the, in the city that I live in, sports are very popular. There's a college, there's co college sports um, and they have a big stadium where people go and watch sports. It's a big deal. Many people come and um, I've never been. I, I do, I've never been not once inside to see any sports, um, but it's extremely popular. And I, I cannot even even as like a even as like a people watching exercise. I cannot really summon the curiosity to go and watch anything, any 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 group sports. I, I'm embarrassed to say, but I don't even know what sport they're watching. Is it football? Is it basketball? Is it both? I don't even know. And and if if people here knew that, they would. It's like they would think that I was an alien. They would say like. How do you not know? It's the biggest thing in the city. I, I have no, I don't know. I Maybe I block it out, but I have no interest in it. Okay, I got you. <laughs> so, um, yeah. maybe, mm, okay, Renya. Okay, Jeveline. I just want to say that um, I guess that I have so many common uh, interests with Mr. James because <laughs> I also like him and this I don't like team sports and uh, I do adore water sport you know any water sport I I like watching snorkeling diving sailing surfing any water sport maybe because I live in near to the sea but you know, uh, I just love water <laughs> and I don't like uh, anything connected to the the ball, <laughs> not basketball, volleyball, football. No, I don't like it at all. So you don't want to hit your body <laughs> with the ball? <laughs> it's so yeah. Hard. Hard. yeah, I'm not keen on it. Okay, cool. So next, do you know of any or strange sports or activities? Yes. I was talking to my friend recently, and her interest is, um, it's a water sport, but it's a strange water sport, swimming with sharks. Yeah. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> she, she, she likes to swim with sharks. And I, I, I didn't know this, but there's different, you can swim with many different kinds of sharks. She told me about three. So you can swim. There's some sharks, you can swim with them. They are small, not dangerous. 
And then there are some sharks, the, the whale shark. The whale shark is very big, but very safe. And then there is swimming with the great white sharks. And that uh, is uh, cage, cage diving. You have to, you go in the water inside a metal cage to protect you. And then the dangerous sharks swim around you. And, and she, that's her hobby. Oh, you you oh. you are like in the prey. <laughs> in the what? Yeah. In the in the what? Free, like free, like a free. <laughs> what what? Yeah. Free, free, P R E Y. Oh, prey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're the yeah. prey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the prey yeah. of the shark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't like that kind of water sport. I don't like it at all. <laughs> yeah, neither do I. I. I will not try that one. Even I will be paid a hundred million dollars. <laughs> yeah, me too. Too scary for me. Yeah, hey, it's our life, scary. guys. <laughs> too scary. <laughs> of course. That's interesting story, Sir James. Okay, we'll proceed. What two sports would you like to mix and why? Uh, well, I go first, uh, Javelin. Um, sure. Uh, for me, as I told you, uh, <laughs> I love walking and I love water sports, so I can mix both of them by walking, not on walking water. In the water. <laughs> yeah, walking in the water, not on water. <laughs> maybe on the beach, maybe, yeah, that's, I can mix both of them. Yeah, that would be <laughs> imagining. Yeah, yeah, you can do that, walking the sport, uh, walking on water. <laughs> Yeah. Did did you say walking in the water? Yeah, yeah not not on the water. <laughs> not on the water, in the water. In the water, yeah. <laughs> Rania, Rania, I again, I am totally with you. I find that I think that's so interesting, especially if the water is deep. Like yeah. if the water is just up to my neck. So then walking is very slow, but it's almost it's almost like swimming, but you can walk in some places if the water is um, calm and the, 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 the floor, the, the bottom of the water is flat. Yeah, I like that too. That's funny. Yeah, that's in the swimming pool, I guess, Rania. Am I correct? No, I sometimes do that in uh, the sea, you know? In the deep water. <laughs> the and sea. sometimes I dance too. I dance under the water. <laughs> yeah, that's a good uh, exercise because I'm a physical yeah. therapy, you know. Um, doing exercise on the water, it will make you more relaxed. Yeah, you know, it makes you resist more also. So it's to get to your muscle. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, next. Uh, do you prefer to watch sports or play them and why? Uh, well, for me, uh, watching sports, as I told you, um, uh, yes, I do enjoy watching sports, but of course it would be better to to play the, them or to do them. So um, maybe I don't have enough time to watch a lot or follow, but um, when I have the chance to do them or play my favorite sport, of course I will do that. Yeah, me too. I want to play the sports because I want more interactive, more engaging. I want my muscles, mm, no, <laughs> to to move. Anyone else?
Nan? So we can proceed next. What do you think is the most dangerous sports? Oh, the one that Sir James mentioned. Yeah, yeah I was just going to say it. Yeah. I guess. No, the one no, 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 no. <laughs> Definitely not. No, no, no. I think there's many, many much more dangerous sports than the, the you know, it sounds dangerous, but I think, well, first, yeah, the, the, the rock climbing. Rock climbing seems very dangerous. Even, and hiking, like mountain climbing, where you climb up Mount Everest seems very dangerous. A lot of people die doing that. Surfing even may be dangerous. People get hurt surfing. Football, people are always banging their heads, breaking something, playing football, boxing. There's a lot of, sports are very dangerous. There's many dangerous sports. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess all the sports are dangerous, Mr. James. Yeah, okay, I agree with you. Uh, I Do you know the equestrian? E equestrian is the most dangerous sports according to the web because it pertains really? to running, steeple, chasing, bolting while, while uh, riding on a horse. And then second, follow the... Uh, huh. uh, wing... Wing suiting? I don't know that. Wing suiting? Oh, yeah. You, yeah. They they have like a, it's not a parachute, but it's like a, like a suit, almost like a flying squirrel suit. And they jump off of a cliff and then they glide down. They're, it's like they're flying, but they're gliding with their suit because the, the material gives them some air resistance. You can watch if you do if you you if you Google it, you'll see many YouTube videos of people doing this. It seems it seems very dangerous, and and I didn't know that it was the you know one of the most dangerous sports until you told me, and I am surprised. I am very surprised to hear that equestrian horse horse sports are the most dangerous. I, I had no idea. Yeah, that's that's the one I I found on the web that the most dangerous is equestrian and some formula or then wing su wing shooting. <laughs> it's hard to pronounce. Yeah, shooting. you know you know Javelin, but uh, wing shooting yes it is dangerous, but it's so enjoyable to you know when you feel like a bird flying in the sky. It's amazing. It's a good feeling actually. But uh, uh, yes, it is dangerous. It can go wrong, <laughs> but it's a great feeling. I, I would love to try it someday. Did you say that Formula One? Uh, yes, racing? I don't. Yeah, oh, Formula car, One. I car, don't know that. Car racing. It's car uh, racing. Car racing. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, they because, call. Uh, mm -hmm. They call that Formula One in the United States. Formula One is these very um, fast race cars that they drive around in a circle. Um, and that, yeah, they get into car crashes. I, I could see that being dangerous. So so the one who was the winner was the one who can reach the is, uh, least time. Yeah. I, I, I've never done horseback riding or the wing suiting, but I have done, uh, excuse me, I have not done um, car driving, but I have done horseback riding. I've gone horseback riding and I was terrified. I was very scared. The horse was running on its own and I was just holding on for dear <laughs> life as the horse did whatever it wanted. And my friend also, my friend was riding the horse and the horse threw him off and I never went again. It's it's too scary for me. Oh, <laughs> I never tried horse riding even hmm. once. Hmm. So, okay. guys, have you tried camels before? Riding camels? Riding camels? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's, it's enjoyable too. You know, the camel is, is very high. <laughs> and oh, when did you one, try yeah. to ride the camel, Rania? Yeah, here in Egypt, in, in the Burmids area, of course, you know, you heard about the Burmids? Pyramids. Here in, in Giza. Burmids. Yeah, Burmids and Giza. 
Uh, we have this sport, uh, camel riding. It's interesting, but it's, uh, <laughs> you know, it's frightening too. I, I feel so scared when I do it. Cool. <laughs> So next, what do you think of athletes making so much money like basketball in the USA? Is mm. it a good thing or a bad thing and why? I love this question um, because I love talking about money. I think that many people get angry about sports players making a lot of money, but I think there's always some, it's easy to blame the sports players and there are other people who make more money. I'm more angry at the other people, like the people who own the team. The people who own the team, they make more money than the sports players. So I, I want, I don't, I don't want to blame the sports players and ignore the other more rich people. The more rich, the more angry. Yeah, I agree with you. And also maybe some of the advertisement, you know, when the owner of the team, they make their players like, um, uh, what you call that, beneficial for them, for the owner and not for the players itself. Anyone else? Yeah. Uh, well, Jubilee, I guess uh, they, they deserve guys to have much money. Those people are working so hard. They train for hours and they they do their best to be good. So they deserve money. Why not? Just let, let them get the money. <laughs> you know, they will have a time that they they won't be able to to play anymore, and they will stop suddenly for an injury or something. Uh, so they they need they will need this money later. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, next question. What do you think of athletes? I ah, know that's okay. <laughs> Maybe this is uh, the next question is, uh, what other benefits uh, of sports do you uh, agree with this? Uh, Sports improves your mood, concentration, reduces stress and depression, improves sleep habits, maintain a healthy weight, boost your self-confidence, has been, has been linked to leadership traits and mental benefits of sports for older people. Uh, what uh, benefits that applies to you, uh, if you have, or you have experience from it? Can you tell one or two or three? from this slide? Well, I'm embarrassed to say that I agree with it in theory, but I don't agree with it in action. So I know it's very good for me to be active on a regular basis doing some physical activity, but I don't do it. And also, especially during the pandemic, we stuck at our home. <laughs> Right. Well, I, I maybe during the pandemic, I uh, would. It's not the, some for some people. I, I I didn't stay in my home the whole time. I could still go out and walk, and I still do, but not as much as I. I think if I did more, if I was more physically active, I would. All of these things, I I think, would be stronger for me. I would improve in all of these areas if I was more physically active. Yes, you are correct. If you are physically active and also we eat the right thing, um, we have a balanced diet. Uh, we will maintain our healthy body and mind and our soul also, right? Our spirit need also a um, good word of God or gospel. So it's all a mix to have a healthy lifestyle. Yes, Jolene, for me, uh, you know, uh, sports um, help me a lot to improve my mood. As I told you, I release 
uh, my negative energy to improve my mood and uh, uh, um, also it reduces yeah it reduces uh, ease and um, depression you know um, instead of uh, fighting with someone <laughs> or doing any troubles I just do sports <laughs> when I get nervous of course You said that uh, it improves also your mood, right, Aranya? <laughs> yeah, a lot, a lot, Jeveline. It improves my mood a lot. Um, yes, that's just that I feel that I'm not good. And uh, I feel a little the breast of something. I just uh, do spar. Um, it helps me a lot. That's correct. So aside from um, your mood improves, uh, your concentration as well as you, uh, you you have stress or depression, it will reduce. And I would add uh, for myself, um, you can have a healthy weight, right? <laughs> you know I when do. somebody <laughs> when somebody I look at you, oh, you are you uh, fat or something like that. You are ashamed to tell our weight and height and also our age, right? Yeah, that's true. For women, of course. Not so, just women. Mm -hmm. Not just women. <laughs> you, you you are only seeing the top half of me, but maybe if you saw my if you saw from here below, you'd see my you'd see my big belly. <laughs> Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> okay. Maybe um we have uh, the BMI, the index for uh uh like when you are this 40 years old, you should have a weight of this one. So there is a BMI index, but I have not included on my uh PowerPoint. You can also look for that. Okay, and some sports and games vocabulary are here. Um, some acrobatics, gymnasts, archery, badminton, baseball, baton, twirling, bicycle, motocross, billiards, bodybuilding, body bowling, boxing, canoeing, car racing. Um, like we've mentioned that uh, car racing is very dangerous. Who can play chess here? Cricket, crochet, curling, drop. Darts, dodgeball, and fencing. So those are some of the games or sports. So who among you are uh, try this one? Who try this one? Okay, I have a follow-up question. A yoga is a sport. It's a kind of sport. Yoga. Do you know yoga? Yeah, of course, Jeveline. Yeah, I consider it as a sport. Uh, I do yoga too sometimes in my meditation classes. Uh, it's amazing. How often do you uh, usually take the yoga class, Serena? Well... Maybe um, twice a month. Oh, nice. Okay. So uh, to sum up, um, our topic is about sports. It's very important in our daily lives. Um, we must uh, have a goal to exercise, <coughs> and have a sport or new sports if you want to. And also let our children be healthy as well. So what are your uh, takeaways for this class? I want to do, I want to be more active. Cool. That's a good challenge for you, Sir James. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, Jovelina, I didn't get your question. 
Uh, what are your takeaways for this class? Uh, Rania, do you get me? What are your takeaways from this class? What do you learn something? Yeah, of course. Satisfaction, course. dissatisfaction. <laughs> yeah, well, I learned it. Um... Uh, today, I, I, I gained new information, you know, I, I didn't know about dangerous sports and uh, I learned it that uh, uh, I was surprised to, to know that uh, this uh, riding horses is the first dangerous uh, sport. Uh, oh, well, mm -hmm. what else? <laughs> Well, it's been nice talking to you, Devon and Mr. James, of course. I'm so happy to, to meet you. Um, I hope to see you soon again. Yeah, thank you. I'm happy to meet you also and all of you uh, attending this James Green English class. So there's two more minutes who would like to add on our topic. Uh, okay, Jubilee, let me ask you something, please. Um, um, in your country, uh, do do they uh, get uh, give sport uh, you know um, to children at schools to to you know you have classes for sport at your schools? Ah, okay. That uh, on normally on our education there is a physical education class where the students can choose if they want to uh, take a basketball or any uh, sports in the campus or in the school. It depends on you. Oh, you mean they, they make them choose the situation? Yeah, they content? make them choose, yeah, physical mm -hmm. education or learning languages or mm -hmm. um, like home technology. Yeah, like I guess that. all of them will, will choose home technology these days, you know, children of these days are... Oh, uh, they are addicted to technology. Yeah. You know, here in Egypt, we do have uh, in our schedule uh, classes for sports, but most of the time they, they don't do it. They just, um, you know, spend this time doing nothing. Uh, I don't know why, but I guess it's very important for children to do sports. Yeah, that's correct. Because um, being healthy is more um, richer than being have plenty of money, right? Health is wealth. Yeah, of course. All right. I think this is for all for the class. I give now turn the time to Sir James. Thank you so much for this wonderful group. And our topic for today is about sports. I know that you've learned something for this class. Thank you. Thank you so much, Javelin. I really enjoyed being here. Thank you very much. Look forward to teaching you teaching in the group again. All right. Um, so now my class is starting. It's James Green's English Classroom. I'm James, and here we are. Open conversation time. So, news and distractions. Let's start with news and distractions. Alyssa from the Philippines. Alyssa from the Philippines. Go ahead. Okay, this question. Uh, in all honesty, I don't have a certain cu curriculum to follow for my classes. That's my distraction. Oh, um, well, that's not a distraction because that is ah. happening. 
it's okay. It's okay. It's it, it's happening inside the group. You're a teacher in the group, and you have some um, feelings or worry about not having a curriculum, a clear curriculum, as a teacher in the group. And so my meetings, my classes like this, are open to everyone in the group, including teachers, right? So it's uh, for, for this session, it's beginners, intermediate, advanced students, as well as teachers, board members, native speakers of English, all group members. So as a group member, as a teacher in your teacher role, you have some feelings or concerns about your curriculum that you're offering. Yes. Oh, so how do you feel about that, about not having a curriculum? Stuck. I, Stuck. I don't know. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. It's like I'm in a pile of uh, a quicksand. Uh, you're, it's like you're in a pile of quicksand. I, I'm in a, in a quicksand. Yeah. <laughs> Not a yeah, pond. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a, it's a, um, a visual metaphor, right? Quicksand is <laughs> you, you walk along, and then you, you get, you sink down, and you, you can't get out. You're, you're sinking into the ground. You're stuck. You feel stuck. Okay. So, uh, well, you're stuck. Yeah, uh, I'll I'll ask some other teachers about this, but yeah, they, this is my distraction, or mm -hmm. I don't know what it's called. Uh, oh, it's a problem. Like, yeah, like I said, it's not a distraction. It, it sure, it's a problem. You have a problem. You you want? I I don't know why it's a problem. Why is it a problem? Because like I said, it's a, I'm stuck. Like I don't know what to teach because I feel okay. Oh my! Oh my! You're gonna you're gonna say it, it's your mind mind read again. I was uh, no, uh, <laughs> uh Well, I feel like everyone has already covered like what to teach because I plan on teaching. Oops! Wait, I plan on teaching like uh, pronunciation. Wait. So everything has already been taught. There's nothing left to teach. Oh, I feel like it. My mind reading. What? You're whispering. You something about a mind read. My mind read? Your mind read? Who's mind read? My mind read. I'm mind reading. <laughs> You're mind reading. Who are you mind reading? Me? And um, kind of. I, I mean, your mind reading me. I Vice versa. I don't know, James. Oh, you have, you have a mind read that I'm mind reading you. Yeah. Very interesting. Uh, you have a mind read that I'm mind reading you. Yes, we're like Professor and, Xavier. And we're like Professor Xavier and who? I, I certainly have the hair. I have the hair of Professor ah, Xavier. Okay. True. <laughs> I don't know if I have the mind reading ability, but I do have the hair of Professor Xavier from the X-Men. But but who are you? If I'm Professor Xavier, who are you in the X-Men story? Scarlet Witch. <laughs> You're Scarlet just... Witch. Okay. You're yeah. Scarlet Witch. Now. Let's do some X-Men work. In your mind read of me, what am I mind reading about you? What am I thinking about you? Uh, that there are so many other topics that you can teach, AKA Scarlet Witch. Okay. <laughs> so you have a mind read that I have a mind read that that I'm thinking, come on, Alyssa, 
there are so many topics you can teach. Mm -hmm. Would you like to check with me if that's what I'm thinking? Yes, please. That's not what I'm thinking. Do you believe me? Um, let me check. Let me let me Look scan. At, scan. Look at <laughs> my face. Do you see my face? No, you no, don't I see my face. You don't face. see my face. Question. You don't see my face because you're because you're blind. Yep. You don't have. You cannot see anything. Mm -mm. You can You can only hear my voice. So listen to my voice. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you believe me based on hearing my voice? Yes or no? Yes. You believe me. Okay. So, great. You checked a mind read. You found out your mind read is not true. How do you feel believing me? Do you believe me? You, you believe me. How do you feel believing me? How does it feel to believe me? Relief. Like, okay. Yeah. Person being, yeah. 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 You feel a relief. You feel a relief. Great. Make some space for feeling a relief. Ah, such a relief. I believe what's happening. Ha ha ha. Relieved. Great. Next question. How do you feel discovering you were wrong? Your mind read of reality was wrong. You misread the situation. How does that feel? Uh, hmm. Dumbfounded. <laughs> Dumbfounded. <laughs> Dumbfounded. Uh huh. Dumbfounded. Um, Dumbfounded is kind of like surprised, right? Surprised, like, huh? Um. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Like so make some. Yeah. Huh? It's like back to reality. I mean, yeah. yeah, I mean. Yes. Oh, yeah. It is back to reality. Reality is saying, you who. And you're saying, you're listening. You're like, oh, um, yes. Reality. Would you like to tell me something? Yeah. You're coming back to reality. And you feel surprised. So make make some space for being surprised. Okay. Okay. Good enough or do you want to keep going? I, good enough. Okay. Say anyone else. I'll ponder. What? Okay. What? I'm gonna I'm gonna ponder. Don't don't ponder. You don't need to ponder anything. Just just make space inside you for your experience. Your experience of being surprised and of feeling relieved. Just just let let that experience your the, in your body just have that. The pondering the pondering is it, as long as you have your feelings ponder whatever you want. But but don't let go. Don't don't lose W the work that, that you achieved, which is getting some connection to your feeling. All right. Uh, say, say anyone uh, else. Say anyone else again. Okay. Anyone else? Great. <laughs> Great work, Alyssa. Scarlet Witch. Thanks, Professor. Are people familiar with that reference? The X Men. Hello. Oh, oh, hello, Frank Franco. Ah uh, yes, huh? Franco. Hi James. Hi. Good to see you. Hi everybody. Uh, well, uh, definitely resonate with uh, what Elisa had said about. Uh, about just uh, 
Sorry, I'm just having a lot of thoughts here. You uh, so are yes, dumbfounded are... too. <laughs> I yeah, am. Definitely. You are dumbfounded. Yes. Well, Surprise. this is a this is a quality of um, mm. like you were explaining. The mind reader uh, is being self conscious about how you're portray portraying yourself towards other people, thinking that oh, okay, well. I'm not being good enough. This is uh, all these topics has already been explained and I have nothing to say. Uh, and I definitely resonate with the uh, mm. with 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 the whole sense. I, I found myself in doing that thing, just doing the mind reader. And I uh, is yes, sometimes it, it comes, you know, it's the way that you think, it's personality. It's Franco. Uh, yes. Can you tell us what your mind read is? First of all, who are you mind reading? I'm just trying to give my opinion oh, to the no, whole no, topic. No, 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 no. Okay. You now you're mind reading me. <laughs> Oh, so oh great. So you're you're exact <laughs> you're in the exact same place as Alyssa. You have a mind read of me that I have a mind read of you. No, 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 not at all. Because you says you were unsure about where what I was thinking was true or not. So I'm just wondering if you were mind reading me. That's it. That's all. You're wondering. Is that is is that is that what you were doing, James? Were you mind reading me? No. Oh, you, oh, you, you were you were wondering. You, Franco, so. Franco, Franco. No, I'm not mind reading you. Do you believe me? Oh, of course. Of course. Okay. Slow down. How do you feel? Believing me. Mm. It feels good. Ha ha. Make some space for feeling good. Yes. Now, how do you feel discovering your mind read of me that I was mind reading you is not true? Your 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 guess was wrong. How do you feel about discovering your guess is wrong? Nothing. You feel nothing. It just feels. I feel. You, I you feel. feel oh, I, I. Nothing. Hmm, I feel a relief. Uh, relief. I feel a sense of relief. Yes. Relief. Okay. So you're 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 with Alyssa. You you're right there with Alyssa. Right, very close, yeah. in her footsteps. Mm-hmm. It is a relief to come into reality. To when reality comes knocking and we open the door and we're like, oh yeah, you got something to say to me, reality? It's a re it's a huge relief. It's it's much easier to live in reality than our fantasies. We cannot yeah oh absolutely uh totally agree I, it's, it doesn't just happen with it. me it happens to everybody to who I mean, else everybody has who 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 it's a condition it's a human human being condition yeah and there, sometimes we yeah. franco franco yeah there's, there's 22 mm -hmm. human beings here with names mm -hmm. well i'm speaking to to the whole group Okay. Yeah. Isn't that how people feel sometimes? That imagine if if the world would be uh, predictable or knowing the truth. I'm not sure. Huh? You're not sure? 
No, no, I, I'm asking, I'm asking. Okay, so let's go back. Let's let's go back to the. Um, so what exactly were you questioning? Franco. I'm not questioning anything. You have another mind read of me that I'm questioning something. Oh, no, no. No? I thought you had said something. Oh. What, what, what did you think I said? Well, I thought you had said the, uh, how does it feel to be relieved? Um, oh. that, that I'm not thinking that some, something along those lines. No, 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 thank you, no. I didn't ask you how does, how does feeling relieved feel? Because feeling relieved feels relieving. Oh, okay. I, I, I asked you how you felt, that's true. I asked you how you felt. Okay. Yeah, it, it feels a sense of relief, of yeah. a sense of uh, feeling good, feeling accurate. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. And then, Franco, then I, speaking to the whole group, I said, mm -hmm. it is a relief to connect to reality, to open to reality, to be open to reality, because we can respond to reality. We cannot respond to fantasy. Totally. Say anyone else? Anyone else? It's a huge relief to live in reality. It's not always easy though. No, why not? What gets in the way? Life. Yeah, what 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 is life? This is life. Well. Hmm, how can I put it? Um Franco. Yes. Look at me if you can. I am. Okay. Well, a moment ago you were looking away. No, I was thinking. I, I was thinking. I, I was. Just, that's what I said. I said, "Let me think away," because I haven't actually processed what I was going to say. And you say, "Franco," to call for my attention because and you were because you because were looking. I, I was looking away because I said, "Let me think about it." So when I think about it. I look away sometimes. You done? Yes. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Um, here, you can check if there is something that is difficult about living in the reality of this group, because we are discovering that is it is a relief to live in reality. It might be difficult at times. I, I don't know. We you could check, and here you could check what is difficult about living in the reality of this group. I'm not just talking to you, Franco. I'm talking to everyone. You're doing some work for the group. The group is kind of putting this work into you and you're taking it up and it's great. So I'm speaking to everyone, including you, Franco, that if there is something difficult about living in reality, whatever it is, life, right? If there's something difficult about life, you can check the life that's in this group, because there is life in this group. Life is often, I mean, the, life is complicated. We have feelings, it's part of life. You can check in this group if you have feelings about anything that's going on here and see 
Is there a problem? Is there something difficult about doing that? Or, or not? Can somebody tell me what I said? Christina Booga raised her hand. Now, Christina, you always hey, raise me. Christina, no, I, uh, Christina, I always try to remain. Christina, can you hear me? Christina, yeah. can you hear me? So you often raise your hand, even though you've been here many times. I say you don't need to raise your hand. Now, Christina, you're coming in at the same time as Moonmi. Who's going to talk first? Oh, it doesn't matter. I mean, oh, it doesn't matter. I just want to, uh, I think it's nah, more nah, nah, polite. It's, yeah, oh, it's more polite what? I do think so that it's polite to raise your, our hands. I mean, because you can't interrupt someone while you are speaking or explaining your thoughts. And uh, I do think so. I mean, it, I'm not in that school, but uh, this is a way of, you know, education. Yeah, that's all. So if someone wants to take the floor, okay, it doesn't matter for me. And I will, yeah. you've been asking something. Uh, regarding, you know, um, reality, and if whether we would like to live in a reality or in a fantasies. So I choose uh, a middle to be in the middle. Yeah, Christina. Because it's. Can you hear me? Stop talking. Yeah. Okay. So, actually, before you go on a long, 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 long explanation, I want to see if somebody heard what I said. Could you try to get what I said? You started a little bit. Now, I want to fill it in, okay? I am saying to everybody here, you can check. Is there a difficulty? Do you have a difficulty with something? You can check. What is it and what is the difficulty? Can you get that, Christina? But, oh, sorry, could you rephrase it? A, a difficulty living our life or in general difficulty living in the reality? And anything that you find, anything you find difficult in this group. If you find uh, this group, I got it. In this group, in this group. Yes. Um, Christina. Oh, well, Christina. Yeah, well, I just, Christina, yes, I can hear you. Slow down. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not asking you to find something now. I want you to summarize me. Mm -hmm. Okay, what you said previously. Okay, so you, you, you may saying that is it difficult to find out uh, in our group some issues or some difficulties and, you know, somehow living every single day in reality in this group you've been asking, isn't it? So what is some no. difficulty that we're no. getting through? No, no, close, but no. It, I'm saying if it's difficult, it might not be difficult. Yeah, well, you, you can also explain it in a few words. I and mean, is it difficult to living or to you know somehow survive in this group? I will I will use this expression. You know, uh, by my perspective, no, it's not at all difficult. I'm not asking you yeah. your perspective, Christina. I'm not asking you your perspective. I'm telling you my perspective. Yes. I don't know your perspective. You I'm telling it to you, but you're not listening. That's why you don't know my perspective. Uh, you said that I, I mean, Krishna, you should shadow me, please shadow me and trying to explain what I said previously. Christina, and I said, okay. Christina, Christina, I want you to stop talking and just listen. I'm going to work with Moonmi. Okay. Just, okay. Li just stop talking and just listen. All right. Okay. Munmi, would you tell me, what did you hear me say? Yes, James, I heard you said sometimes uh, connecting ourselves to the reality is uh, make us relief. And you want to know from the group to how we feel about the same. Yes, that that's, true? that's true. And, and if you find it difficult to connect to reality here, you can talk about what is difficult if you have a difficulty? Yeah. Okay, so you also 
want to us to uh, say about uh, if we have any difficulty, then we can talk about it in the group. That's right? it. That's it. Yeah. Thank you, Moonmi. Yes. So to over, the group, over to you. Thank you. So to the group, right. I'm saying, yes, it is true that uh, connecting ourselves to the reality uh, sometimes really make us relief. At the same time, maybe for me, I feel uh, sometimes it also hurts too. Connecting ourselves to the reality means because uh, when there is a gap between our expectation and the reality, definitely it's going to hurt us. And uh, otherwise, it is a relief for us. Anyone else? This is me, Amas. I would like to summarize you up, Mumi. You say sometimes uh, it's good to connect to reality, but sometimes, uh, sometimes it's, it felt uh, not really, not good, not really. Am I correct? Amas, can you please repeat it? I'm sorry, my son disrupted. Wait, wait. Uh, you, you just said that uh, sometimes you. Uh, you felt like uh, it's good to uh, connect with reality, and sometimes, uh, it, sometimes don't feel good, like don't feel relief um, connecting to That's true. the. the That's uh, true. Yes. 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 Uh, yeah. Thank you. Um, well, for me, slow down. Uh, slow down. Slow down. I I I dropped something. I'm sorry, Amans. I want to take a step back. All right, sure. Moonmi, can you try something with me? Yes, please. Would you try to summarize Christina? I'm sorry. I mean, I no. tried to understand and um, it seemed, okay. uh, Christina, you were trying to say, uh, okay, I, think okay, I, will be I need to hear I, you I again. Okay, let's, let's, do, it. let's do it again. But I didn't catch actually because I was I was listening. You know, he was explaining. J uh, James was explaining between reality and relief, and being in a group and trying to cooperate. So I was thinking that this is the, the explanation concerning the group. You know, but uh, uh, anyway. So yeah, uh, I, as I said, I'm, I'm not following fact, you, Christina. There's not an issue. So as I said, you've been talking about the group. I thought that was just in general just comparing the reality with you know being living in like everything a single day and like in a battling or just being in relief you know it's not easy to live, live in reality in my opinion but um mm, uh, it's just you know a matter of how you are thinking what is your trajectory in life but the latter is not an easy you know it's not a, a bed of roses in my opinion and even though in this group, because we have different point of view, different kind of thoughts and, you know, understanding, education, bringing and backgrounds. So anyway, this is that that was my point of view in general. Yeah. Christina? Yeah, I, I'm done. Are, I'm are, done. are you done? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's some, I'm going to mute you because there's a lot of noise on your microphone. Okay. But I'm, I'm still talking to you. So Christina, I'm going to summarize you. You said that life is not a bed of roses. And in this group, we have different opinions and in life, it can be difficult to live in reality. And it depends on our trajectory, the direction we're going in life. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Now I was gonna ask Moonmi to summarize you too, but Moonmi left. So I don't know where the group wants to go with this. Back to the group. Maybe Amans wants to try or somebody else. Uh, yeah, this is me, Amans. I would like to try uh, talking about reality. Um, well, I thought... Um, uh, no. every... 
Well, before you talk about reality, could you try to summarize Christina? Because that's what we do in this group. Before we come in, we summarize the person who spoke. And I'm kind of modeling that for you, Amans. I summarize Christina as a demonstration. And I'd like to see if you could do that. Yeah, I'll try to do that. Uh, Christina, you say that um, um, I heard... Mr. Green said something like, uh, you say that uh, life is not a bed of roses. Um, it's life is uh, not what you think, like uh, a place to free from problem. And, and, and also everyone in this group has their own uh, opinion about uh, Relief and connecting to reality. Am I right? Miss? Good work, Amans and Christina. It's it, it's perfect. It's phenomenal. I mean, perfect. even James. Phenomenal. James, James, we have our thoughts, and everybody has a point of view. It's just a matter of just you know trying to reconnect between each other, isn't it? You you came from I don't know U.S. I'm coming from Italy. Everyone are just different backgrounds, but the 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 main thing is just to to be you know educated and trying to you know um, uh, respect everyone. So this is over. Great. Oh, over you, respecting. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Over to you. Over to you, Amans. Uh, well, for me, uh, talking about reality. Um, well. <laughs> I thought, um, you know, everyone uh, that I don't know, like strangers in the street, uh, um, will be uh, kind at me. Uh, example, uh, in internet, when I go to the internet, uh, like they call it, hooking up, uh, meeting up with uh, strangers in the internet, uh, like teenagers or kid or adult, and try to talk with them uh, but something I thought they would uh, like to talk um, uh, to me uh, longer. And but the reality is when I go to them, those strangers that I was talking about in internet, most of them were like um, saying bad words at me. Um, they say, hey, how are you? Oh, you're not from here. Oh, is that, uh, is that a... Uh, Ray-Ban sunglasses you're wearing? I bet that's a fake one you're wearing. And <laughs> well, that's the reality. And I felt like um, really hurt in the in the heart. And I thought they were all good, but yeah, not all of them good in the internet, right? Even kids playing around with me, but, but yeah, that's the reality. So anybody else? So you had a uh, expectation that people you meet would be kind with you, but then you talk to people and they're not kind with you. They say things like uh, your glasses are fake, probably fake. And it hurts to hear things like that. Yeah, it hurts to, to hear things like that from them. Yeah, you got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So great, yeah. great example of something that might be difficult about reality. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's difficult when people say things that we find hurtful or we, do, we want them to be kind. We want them to uh, be friendly, but they're not. And that's, that can be difficult. Yeah, go ahead, Franco. Yeah, I just wanted to um, say. Would uh, you summarize Amon's first before you start uh, talking? Sure. Um, well, Aman was saying. Talk to him. Talk that to, is, talk to uh, Aman. Aman, you were saying that it's difficult to be yourself, to come into a group, trying to find friends, to be able to talk and um, to form connections. But it was difficult for you. And some people were making fun of uh, the glasses that you were wearing. Um, 
brand is a Ray-Ban, that they were fake and they were not nice to you. So you feel uh, bad about it, that you felt like they were mean to you, uh, that they were not giving the ret return and the grace that you were trying to give to the group. Uh, is that what you said, Aman? Yeah, that's what I said. That's the intention, trying to make friends. But yeah, like you said, they, they weren't good to me. Yeah. Good work, Amans. Good work, Franco. Over to you, Franco. Yeah, yeah I, uh, it's, it's difficult. Uh, totally. I'm sorry that you had that experience, Aman. Um, I feel like there should be rooms that are somehow protect people from bullying and harassment and saying things that are not um, that are not conductive for certain topics. Uh, it definitely feels because I put myself in your situation and uh, being different, it's uh, it's just difficult. Um, so sometimes we choose that path to be different, but not everybody takes that because they already form a group. They have their own characteristics and their own way of talking, their own way of being. So coming from outside and be trying to belong to the same group, uh, with the best intentions, as you said, and not receiving that is just difficult. So- Talk to the whole group, Franco. Separate mm -hmm. from Amans and talk to the whole group now. Well, um, just, you know, for everybody in the group, just uh, don't take it too, too personal. Sometimes it's just an opinion of that, particular person or people. So just uh, being you, being who you are, um, to you, you're great, you're, you're, you're awesome. And, um, and yeah, if that is not a good fit, there's plenty of groups, chats to go to. Um, so don't give up in your pursuit or talking and having connections and and having friends so that's my uh that's my opinion uh, thank you and how about Anybody else? franco how about you franco do you ever feel hurt by something that somebody says oh that's what i related that's why i oh i started talking to because i definitely relate to that um, oh, you didn't say that. I didn't hear you say I, that. I think I did. Yeah, I think I did. I, I, I was hearing you give advice to people to not take things personally and also, you know, to go to try hard, which is which I get. Uh, I, you could also you could also ex join with a similar experience. Right. It's kind of the difference between giving advice and joining. When we join somebody, we have our version of it. So your version, I don't know what your version is. No, I say like, I resonate. I resonate with the uh, what he said. That's sure. What I said. Sure, mm -hmm. I understand. But but I don't know why, right? I, I don't know what your version is. Amans goes online and somebody says to him, uh, you're wearing fake sunglasses. Do you have a version of that? Like, what do people say to you? You're using fake headphones or you're wearing a fake Nike sneakers. I don't know what your version is. Oh, before when I was a teenager, um, you know, it's that kind of thing with uh, with friends and so. Okay. That's it. You're not a teenager anymore, so mm -hmm. it's not. It's in the. It's in the past for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's it's a matter of difference of opinion, and um, oh, 
What are the different opinions? Just like anybody. You have you have different opinions than other people. I, I can relate with different of opinions. He has been different. That's that's how I can relate to uh, to to a man. It's just like I'm talking to you, you have a different opinion of you know certain things, and I have a different opinion about how you you know certain things. That that is all is I put it together as um, you know as a part of rejection. Um, rejection. Yeah, that's that's how I see it. Uh, isn't it? Isn't it a rejection when somebody doesn't agree with something that you believe in? No, it's not rejection. It's just different way of looking at things. Well, but sometimes you, sometimes, yeah. Yeah, well, some people feel rejected uh, that they don't share the same values or the same opinions. So, Well, if you wanted to, you could look at the ways you feel rejected or the things that people do where you experience rejection. You don't have to. Um, that's what you were saying. You were saying that it was difficult mm -hmm. sometimes to live in reality. Right. I'm encouraging you to join the group, Franco. To share my experience? To join the group, to, uh, to find your version. I'd rather keep it, keep it like that. But thank you for yeah. asking. I, I know, I know. I, that's why I was wondering what you wanted to do. It's, you would like to keep it to yourself. Yes. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Just, just don't give people advice. That's, I'm kind of coming in at the advice point and saying, well, slow down. I see. I see. Okay. Giving advice is a way of uh, separating ourselves from other people's experience. Yeah. Yeah, I no, totally agree. You, you agree? Yeah, you, think... you know, I, I, I definitely agree. I, oh. I, I feel in some way that yeah, you separate um, yourself yeah. from, from... It's, we totally separate ourselves. We, we create what I call a one up, one down position. There is the advice giver who mm -hmm. has the solution. And then there is the advice receiver, which is like, I have a problem. Okay, I will solve your problem. Totally different. Totally different. Well, it, just because you don't share your experience doesn't mean you don't, you separate. Can you tell me what I said? Well, you said the uh, giving advice separates from the other people's um, opinion or experiences it separates and and creates what i call a one up one down relationship where one person is in the helper role i'm going to help you and the other person is in the helpless role like tell me what to do i need your help and that relationship of helper helpy is totally different than two people who have a similar experience. Correct, yeah. Well, 
I don't know if it's correct, but well, that's what I was hoping. Well, some, I, I feel like sometimes it's not necessary to share the experiences. Um, that's from my own experience. I, I feel like depending on what you're looking for, the, the, uh, the recipient can, the connections, yes, you're right. It, it separates the connection. Franco? Franco? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you, you don't have to share your experience. My question is if you're not sharing your experience, what are you doing? I was just sharing, I resonated with what Amanda had said. And yeah, I was just great. giving him, you know, my, my opinion. That's all I was doing. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't sharing, you know, my, my experiences. I mean, I, I resonated with what he had said because I had um, Franco, past experience. This is not about Amon's at all. This mm -hmm. is just about what you want to do here. And like you said, you're resonating with Amon's. Good enough. Mm -hmm. So can you leave it? Can you leave it there, or do you want to? Of course. No, no, no. Well, it's not. It's not. Of course, it's not. Of course. I don't know what you want to do. That's why I'm asking. If it was, if it was, of course, then I wouldn't ask. Okay. Uh, anybody else? This is Munmi from India. Franco, you said uh, you joined a month and accepting that yes, sometimes uh, connecting to the reality is difficult for you too. And you also have similar experiences which you do not want to share now. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Thank you to the group. Can you get me too, Munmi? Can you please repeat again? I mean, I yeah. listened and forgot again. It's okay. Yeah, repeat. sure. Yeah. I, 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 sure. I was saying that giving advice is totally different than joining somebody. That when we give advice, we take a role that's kind of like a helper role. Like I'm gonna join. I'm going to help you. And then the person receiving the advice says, "I need help," and that's a certain kind of relationship. It's totally different than a relationship where two people say, I had this experience. And this other person says, yeah, I had a similar experience. So you said that there is a difference between giving advice and joining, because when you give advice, there is uh, between two persons, one is a helper, another is taking the help, help because the person is helpless. And that way we blocked the uh, um, uh, opportunity to ex share their experience. Yeah. Thanks. Exactly. And, you got yeah. me, Mumi. Thank you. Yes. Uh, so the, the group, uh, um, this is my, I mean, my experience that I said, uh, there is a, you no, know, it hurts when uh, expectation does not uh, uh, meet the reality. Accepting that reality is really difficult, hard for us. I can give my exp example with my parents. I have lots of uh, you know, dream about my parents. Like I, I'm a kind of person all the time. I used to say my parents that don't worry, I'm going to give you this and that and lots of lots of promised. And I am not able to fulfill, you know, 10% of it, which is really a frustration for me. And sometimes my mom uh, reminds me, maybe, I mean, we also have, I mean, um, sometimes we have arguments too, mom and me. So, so see, sometimes, uh, you know, mentioned about all those that what happened. You said like that once. Do you remember? What are you doing in your life now? We have spent so many things, so many, I mean, so much time and money. You know, you, you went to the best university. You have done this, 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 that. But what do you have? What, I mean, you couldn't give us, in return, you couldn't give much to us. My mom is like, you know, I mean, I really don't want to hear. 
sometimes. Moon Ming, Moon Ming, I'm gonna jump in here. I'm gonna jump in here. <laughs> and uh, uh, I just. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm, I'm laughing. Nani is laughing and it's contagious. I'm just see, seeing Nani laugh. I can't help but laugh. So I, I don't even know why I'm laughing. Um, I want to go to the silent subgroup, if that's okay with you, because we have eight yeah, minutes. We have eight, we have eight minutes left. So a yeah, few fine. minutes in. Anybody who has not spoken, you have like three minutes. You might quickly summarize Moonmi and then come in, and then we'll do five minutes of surprises and learnings, and then we'll be passing over. And Nani is going to be teaching a class in eight minutes. So anybody, silent subgroup. If you haven't yet spoken, now's the chance. Now's your chance. Uh, if you don't mind, guys. Christine well, commentary. Christina, you've already spoken. Sorry. I'd like to just make a few minutes for people who uh, have not yet spoken. We've got a uh, we've got okay. a, we've got a quite a big group of people who have not spoken. Kadar, uh, okay. Sharwan, okay. Ali, okay. Zainab, Aisha, Salam, Mark, Nargiz, okay. Greece, Shaquille, Ramesh, Emna, Uzna, Claudette, Amira, Anna, Kang, Tanya, Juan, Khan, Paimona, Tara, and others. Many people have not yet spoken. Anybody who has not yet spoken want to come in? Okay. Christina, cool. you've said okay 10 times. Stop saying okay. And let's go to some people who have not yet spoken. Nani Indonesia. <laughs> go ahead, Nani. <laughs> I actually want to talk seriously, but I'm already laughing a lot because of me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Talk about reality and fantasy. I sometimes play, like Christina said, in the middle. It's hard to re accept reality most time hmm. because it's uh, most time I found it's really her. But hmm. I put that kind of fantasy to reduce that, uh, that, that bitter things in my life or any, any, any depressed, any something that torturing something by the reality. But mom totally different when taught me, <laughs> like Moon Mi. <laughs> mom always taught me to accept reality. That's kind of uh, power. If you accept behind the, the hurt things, there's power because you realize something in this life. There's an answer of the group. So, uh, there are many examples of my friends living in fantasy and die uh, terribly. Oh. Yeah, kill her herself by cutting here because yeah. they live in their fantasy. Yeah, some fantasies can be nightmares. It's true. Yeah, and, yeah. So and I found it. I found it when I was studying in Australia. This may be be a big case. It was a big case because uh, someone report to the. Uh, university and university came to his house, her house. Then I just talking when they mentioned her name, Japanese lady. What? Yeah. Wow! I said, she said yeah. something, then I didn't realize that's gonna end it. That's her life. That's the extreme. Yeah. That's the extreme version. If you take that to the end, if you take it to the end, it can lead with the suicide. Absolutely. Yeah, suicide. All yeah. right. Suicide. On that. On okay. On, on that note. On that note, I want to go to surprises and learnings. Five minutes of surprises, learnings. Anybody have a surprise or learning? Satisfaction, dissatisfaction, discovery, or next move? Yeah, today I have dissatisfaction because uh, lacking of electricity, I couldn't join. That the reason I have dissatisfaction. You couldn't join because you didn't have electricity. Sorry to hear that. Other surprises, learnings. I have this a Who? There was Moon Me and somebody else. Who? Else? Mokadas. That was me. Okay, <laughs> Mokadas then Moon Me. Thank you. This is Mokadas from Afghanistan. Uh, today I learned actually learned lots of things the true definition of reality and uh, uh, the difference between uh, somebody who shares experience with us and somebody who gives us 
uh, at bars. And this is really important. And I think and the next move that I take part, for example, when I join a conversation or uh, when I share words with somebody, um, I will be careful more about giving them advice or how to share my experience with them. And I think this is important. Yeah, uh, we should always uh, realize our position when we are talking to someone, if we are uh, sharing our experience with them or we are just uh, only given them an advice and it plays a vital role in our speech the way that we share our words with them thank you so much thank you mokaras munmi this is munmi this is my satisfaction to be able to speak here and share my feelings here because sometimes i feel that sharing is really you know kind of relief to me so thank you for this opportunity Anyone else? Other surprises, learnings. Yeah, this is me, Ahmad. I would like to say I'm satisfied being in this class, like always, talking with, with you, and also everybody else in there. And also uh, satisfied to be sharing uh, my sharing on my uh, my stories with all of you about, about my um, uh, deal with a, a reality or fantasy, uh, something like that to all of you. Um, that's all. Anybody else? Hello, this is Bubak. So I'm satisfied today to join you and to talk a lot about myself. Uh, even if I join you just now, but I was uh, uh, I was uh, at the starting of the meeting. So that's it. Thank you. Anyone else? Other surprises, learning, satisfactions, dissatisfactions, discoveries, next moves. Ali Shafak? <laughs> Ali, I can't hear you if you're talking. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. So I'm uh, satisfied. There was uh, a great topic and the people uh, shared their opinion. I learned uh, lots of things. Thank you. Anyone else? Rania, your last, last one. Go ahead, Rania. Can't hear you, Rania. Yeah. Uh, I could hear you say yeah, but that's it. So you cannot hear me. Oh, well, now I now I can. I'm sorry, Rania. Something is something is going horribly wrong with your microphone. Um, I'm very sorry. Okay, well, on that crackly note, I'm going to end my class. Thank you, everybody. And I'm passing over to Nani. I'm gonna pull up Nani's introduction and introduce our next teacher. Hello, um, uh, excuse me, Nani, proud Indonesian lady. She's an English teacher and would like to share a bit of her teaching knowledge and skills in this group that she has experienced for more than 30 years. Teaching is part of her family's gene as her mother was also an outstanding teacher in the Dutch era before she married her father, she learned teaching from her. She finished her studies at Catholic Parahyangan University, Bandung, and Flinders Para University. Parahyangan, James. Parahyangan. Parahyangan, excuse my pronunciation. Yes, yes, yes. Par Parahyangan University, 
Bangdung and Flinders, Un Flinders University, Adelaide, Australia. Both were different majors, international relationship and nursing. Nani has led two English courses here as a director at there as a director of study for 16 years. And she has escorted many successful students to their future careers. Her teaching principle is effort produces achievement. She would like to firstly thank James for this opportunity. And I'd like to thank you back for being here, Nani. Over to you. Hello, everyone. I just want to find a Mukkar to be the host. Is he here uh, already? I'm, I'm here, Nani. Thank you. Okay. James, would you please <laughs> make me a co-host? Because Nani needs me to share my screen. Yeah, you're co-host you. now. All right. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Now it's my turn to share a little bit experience on teaching. I continue unit two last, uh, last Thursday on the 25th of August. I introduced unit one, uh, what is it collocation? Yeah, what is it collocation? I remember Aman put hands like this while summarize someone. Aman, would you like to answer me? What is this? <laughs> Uh, that means uh, where uh, one word and meet the other word and it combine and meet like get close together. It become like um, example a car and fast. So it, it, it will get together, get near together. It would be called fast car. Am I yeah, right? excellent, yeah. great memory, Aman. Okay, <laughs> then also I want to do some kind of warm up. Yeah, this is a bit out uh, of it, uh, my material last meeting, but after that I continue. Fill in the blank, but you just listen. What the best one? This is common. You heard this. Okay, I can't believe I made sucks. Uh, you just find the word that match with the next word, the blah, blah, blah. I can't believe I made sucks, uh, blah, blah, blah. Mistake, what's the best one? What the best partner for mistake? Make a mistake. I can't believe mistake? I made such a stupid mistake. Blunder mistake. <laughs> there are many with mistake actually, but uh, I haven't got the one I want my answer. Who's Silly terrible. mistake. Terrible. Terrible. Silly mistake. Terrible. Make a mistake. Make oh, a mistake. No. Not good mistake. Not good mistake. No, that's not. not I collocation. can't believe I made not such good. an idiotic mistake. <laughs> you did that, James. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> it was big mistake. Yay! Big mistake. Big mistake. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe I Nani, made what about, big... what, what about gigantic okay. mistake? Gigantic is not common. What is the secret of collocation? Who knows? Why do we need to put collocation in our speaking? Right to. What is the, the, the secret word there? Should I say none? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, just one is... word. One word. Not, not explanation, just one word. The secret. Of collocation. It's natural, I think. Excellent. Natural. Mm. Natural. That's the secret. If everyone here wants to learn English, imagine the aim to learn collocation, even compounds words, even idiom, natural. What does it mean, natural? I want to hear from Solom because last meeting uh, I asked him many it's questions. Learning. Fluency. Fluency. Say, who's that? See that? <laughs> yes, fluency teacher. The natural means fluency? No. Spontaneously. Spontaneously close. <laughs> I like so long, so long, so long. <laughs> is, is there any so long? I saw his name. Yes. Sorry, Nani. I don't know what, what's it. 
What, what that? <laughs> Very usual, common. Easily. Yeah, common. Yeah, common. They don't, uh, for example, if you talk with native, they expect the natural one, the usual one, the common one, not the extreme, not the weird, not the strange. No. Sure. They, it's simple. they expect, they expect it's the simple. not simple, but natural. Natural Very doesn't simple. mean simple, but natural. Because this is their language, they expecting, they naturally say that. So it's come from us who also learn English. That's the secret, natural. Okay, the second one, you can choose from, what is the blah, blah? You can choose from blah, blah, range of possibilities. A wide range of possibilities. Wide range of possibilities. Wow, I have an excellent student here. <laughs> Good job. Number three, I'm going to blah, 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 a flight to New York because I want to meet James. To take a flight. I'm going to what? To take a flight. Wrong. It's not the collocation of it. Buy ticket, buy ticket. Buy ticket. No, Book a flight. Wrong. Book a flight. Book a flight. Wrong. <laughs> what? Reserve I'm going to blah blah fly to New York because I want to meet James. Getting flight. Getting flight wrong. Whoa, how many here? One right sunshine. This is sunshine. To book Take to it? book a flight. Catch to a book flight. a flight. Go fly. Catch. Go fly. I'm gonna. I'm gonna I'm gonna catch a flight. Catch the flight! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> catch the flight, not book the flight, catch the flight, because it's kind of already uh you are in the way, so that I wanna catch the flight, something like that. Catch the flight. Okay, about the previous lesson, uh, last meeting, I want to make my own sentence by my own traveling. I visited London and I was under Lenny, the Big Bang. Lenny. Yes? Yeah, James's answer is not acceptable because he is native. <laughs> <laughs> we cannot co compete with him. I agree with Ali. <laughs> I agree, I agree. <laughs> no, it is one example. That's the nature, natural one. <laughs> okay, the next from last, uh, last lesson. I visited London, I was under Big Ben, and I blah, 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 photo of the Big Ben. What take blah, photo. blah, blah, photo? Take a photo. Yes, take a photo. Take a photo. Yeah, uh, if I have a, a, a PowerPoint, I'm gonna share my photo under the Big Ben. <laughs> okay, next, hello, sir. It is non-smoking area. So it is blah, 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 forbidden to smoke here. What the best answer? Strictly. Bitterly. Yeah, Mokhtar? Strictly. Yeah, strictly, not strongly. Yeah, strictly. It is strict to smoke here. So strictly forbidden. Excellent. Why? Wow. I'm happy to teach here. Everybody has a fresh memory. And the last, living in the capital city like Jakarta is not easy. There are some poverty areas that blah, 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 crimes. Who knows? Committed. Oh. Yeah. Committed, committed oh. crime. No, wrong. You need to listen you, the sentence. Living in the say, capital city, capital city, remember capital, whatever is the name. Gelki. New York. Hey, New York now. Nani, yeah, Jakarta. Gelki. Yes? Say? Guilty. Guilty? Yes. No. No. Wrong. Illegal? Living in the... Say again? Illegal? Illegal? No. I All thought crimes this last meeting. I thought so. this last meeting. <laughs> Can you, can you write in chat? Because yeah. I'm not able oh, to my... understand what is. Okay, living in the capital city. Okay, don't mention Jakarta. It's not easy, okay? There are some 
property areas bla 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 crime property not property property miss nani property Nani. area miss nani i know yes. i think i know the answer in bahasa indonesia rawan i don't know what is it in english <laughs> no <laughs> not close <laughs> Is it full of crimes? Full of no. crimes? No. Blah, 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 crime. I explained this last meeting. <laughs> I can't oh. remember. <laughs> no one, yes. Danger. Blah, blah, yes. Danger. Dangerous. No. no. Near, near. Wait, near more That's not collocation, dangerous crime. Dangerous near. life, yes. Dangerous animal, yes. <laughs> It is like well, often what? crime, right? No. <laughs> so, yeah. Say again. Terrible. No. <laughs> One. Is it is it the past participle? Uh, no. It is it is not. It is uh, an adjective. An adjective. Ori, horrible crime. Say again. Horrible. Sure. Horrible crime. Horrible? No, no. Sure? I think prone, violent. prone for crimes. No, prone? this is rarely, rarely been heard Nani. by uh, other English Nani. speaker. Nani. Sure? Yes, it, yes. Cate category of crime. No. Yes. Brutal crime. Blah 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 crime. Later, Mokhtar, do you still have the previous lesson? I'm gonna show there the word there. Uh, you want me to share my screen? No, the, the first unit you still have with you? Unit one. Yeah, but I'm not sure. I'm going to waste your time looking oh, for okay. it. Oh, okay. And... Yeah, no, no, no. No need. Okay, no one able to answer. That's breach crime. Breach crime because the words property. Breach crime. You can check the, the, the resource. Everyone in English grammar use uh, in this court. Breach. Breach. So breed, breed, B R E E D S. Breed. Uh, okay. okay. Breed. To breed. breed. Crime. So breed. Generation. Maybe. Breed crime. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Now we come to the unit two, please, Mokhtar. Yes. Okay. Okay. Unit two. We're going to talk another source to learn collocation. Okay, finding, recording, and learning collocation. I want to ask someone else here, how did they learn collocation by themselves? Uh, Arif Islam. What, what collocation have you found? Then from where the source? And how uh, did you make it stick to your memory? Then you able to use it. Arif, are you there? Yeah, I'm there. Yeah. I'm here, now I'm there. <laughs> Too serious. <laughs> relax, relax. Don't go with your fantasy, Arif. We are here now in James' group. <laughs> yeah, um, what is your, your question? Can you repeat, please? My question might be you have found some kind of collocation. I don't know the resource. But you can say your example, then how do you remember them? How do you make it stick to your memory? I can uh, yeah. answer the question. Wait, wait. Okay. Uh, I asked, uh, who's that name? Arif. Arif, Arif, yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah. asked Arif. Uh, you don't know? Yeah. Collocation, if you asked about collocation, that time I have to say about scientific uh, collocation because uh, scientific collocation, they, uh, they have several stages and uh, I get it collocation, but I have no idea about this experiment. You can- Okay, you don't know this all. Okay, I will ask, okay. who's that uh, next? That talking, I don't remember his name. Yes, teacher, see that. Yeah, I see that, go see that. Yes, teacher, I think uh, hmm. your question about the how to, uh, memorizing the collocation, you, you don't forget. I think the best way, the first thing is uh, you write the collocation and the meaning. Mm -hmm. um, reading the collocation 10 times. 
after for you this, ten times. Um, yeah, for you ten times yeah. to make it stick in your memory. Then yes. you were able yes. to use it in many varieties yes. of your sentence when uh, speaking yes. and you writing. Yeah. Yes. And writing and repeat ten times in the day. Excellent. And they, and in other ways, you can using the sentence, put mm -hmm. the sentence. For example, you write the notebook ex directly writing the sentence. Sentences, you mean? Not sentences. Yes. Sentences. Okay, great. I saw <laughs> Rania here. Rania, please. Yes, yes. Hello. What source do you find your collocation and how do you make it stick to your memory? Uh, well, first I do write them down and then mm -hmm. I'm trying to use them in my uh, daily life. You know, I'm trying to use them a lot so they stick to my mind. Oh, okay. You just uh, try to memorize and then use in your daily life. You don't need to practice how to create the sentence by using them? Yeah, maybe I, I can uh, answer some exercises. Related to oh, them. okay. That makes sense now. <laughs> because she doesn't need to memorize 10 times and put in the sentence. That's the great things. That's uh, actually a uh, good technique to make it quick. Quick uh, uh, memorize yeah. them. Quickly to memorize them. Yeah. Okay. Now, can you zoom this one? Finding collocation. Finding through recording or learning collocation. Who want to read the first one? A. Uh, Moonmi? Jo, yeah, moon me, please. Okay. There are two main ways. Finding. You mean to say 2A? No, finding, finding collocations. Collocation, yeah. Finding collocations. There are two main ways in which you can find collocations. Okay, you the can, first one. You can train yourself to notice them whenever you read or listen to anything in English. Look at the collocations that are worth learning from this short text in English. Yeah. So does anyone has this experience from any books, from any novel? You find some kind of collocation, two words that go together and sounds really naturally. And you try, oh, this is good words. Sometimes in novel, it's hard to, to guess the meaning. I just try to, to guess from the text. Did you have yes. any experience that with me? Yes, yes, I have experience, but I don't remember exactly the words now. But yes, often, <laughs> okay. often I yes, often I encounter with such words and uh -huh. I try to remember them. But I really, I mean, I have realized that I I don't do much practice on collocations. I really need to do that. Oh, great. So what do you do to make it stick to your memory? Mm, I think I will write it first on my notebook. Yes, and then... yes, I like that system. Write first. Yes. yes. Two, three, and four th times as much as you, uh, as many as you can to make it yes. really stick to your memory. Yes. yes. And then I will try to uh, use it in my spoken first. You know? Yeah. I mean, the first after you master the, them, yes. understand, yes, yes. you use in your speaking. I did and that one too. And I'm going to use it with my students because when I uh, speak with my students or when I teach my students and I encourage them to use them, which them mm -hmm. I also learn and we get into practice, it habitually and naturally it will come then. Yeah, I did that to my students because the first target of my speaking is my student, not other people. That's true. That's the first. Yes, yes. It is okay. the easiest way. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next. Based on the text here, we can find there are some collocation. Okay, who's going to read this? Yo, please, Yo, Johanna. Uh, may I try? No, Johanna, and then I until I ask stop and can. Yo, are you there? Yes. Yes, please. Okay. After giving Mark a lift to the airport, Julie made her way home. What an exciting life he led. At times, Julie left desperately jealous of him she mm. spent her time doing little more than taking care of him and the children now her sister was getting divorced and will doubtless be making demands on her too julia yeah. promised thank you thank you can can you continue please 
I can continue, oh. teacher. Can please, Yuli have promise. Uh, yeah. Do you follow? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I have followed. Um, Julie had promised to give her sister a call as soon as she got home. But she decided to run uh, herself. Uh, mm -hmm. But a first, she had a sharp pain in her side and hoped that a heart Braid uh, might um, easy the pain. Is not easy. Is the is, pain. Is the pain. Yeah. Okay. If you notice the full one here, that's the combination of one uh, collocation word learning. They said, oh, not yet, not yet, Mokhtar, still that one. Yeah. yeah. Word learning on the short text like this. So, what is the combination? Leap, give. Leave, giving leave. What else? Make way. So you can object in this thing. Make her way. What others? Yes, teacher. Take taking care. Taking care. Before there's another uh, two, lead three, a four. life. Lead, lead a life. Lead life. Excellent. Yeah. Lead a uh, uh, life. Let. Yeah. And then okay. what else? Moment. Uh, can I say uh, make believe? Uh, with the adverb, this one with adverb and uh, adjective. Oh, okay. Then uh, take away. If you recognize, if you recognize what adverb means here. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Desperately jealous. Desperately uh, is an adverb. Desperate adjective uh, uh, with Lee, adjective, uh, adverb and Lee. Desperately jealous. Other spend time. Spend time. Spend time. Yeah. Okay, Claudia. S spend time. Yes, spend uh -huh, next. time. Finish them and getting divorced. Getting divorced. Give a Make call. Demand. Yeah. Take Give a care. Call. Yeah, already. Give a call. Run One. a bath. A bath. Yeah. Sharp, Sharp. pain and. Please is the pain. pain. So it is using the noun pain, but they put another uh, word, sharp pain and is pain. Okay, what the usage of learning by the word uh, text like this, yeah? Tip, get into the habit making a note, like would me share, making a note, put in the sentence, and any good collocation you come across in English next you read, uh, on the text you read. See, this is, you might, uh, found them, you might find them in the novel, in the textbook uh, for any students and maybe any introduction book from the lecturer, you might find them many. Then you underline or highlight, then write them. Make it habit again. Like yeah, I said. So, sorry, uh, Nani. I have a, yes. uh, I have a question. Uh, for example, in here, uh, run a bath is uh, a collocation, but the, among them, there is another word, herself, for example. Yeah, you can put run something in, the, in between. Bath. Yeah. Yeah. Run her bath. Yeah. yeah the, run her of, bath. Uh, so mm -hmm. uh, I think in, in here, uh, herself separate them from each other. So yeah, can sometimes the object can put in the middle of the collocation. Mm -hmm. If you said run but her, doesn't make sense, right? Run mm -hmm. her but makes sense now. Yes. Okay, now you can find them in any good learner. Oh, this is too, yeah. In dictionary, you can find the partner of any sharp. You can say sharp pain, sharp bend, yeah, sharp turn. When you turn your car, it is any sharp. Here in Indonesia, they, in Padang, West Sumatra, there are uh, eight sharp from before you came to another city. Uh, we call it Kelok Sembilan. 
Kelok mean turn. If you say sharp, it is really a uh, very steep like me. Yeah. And a sharp contrast. Deep, a sharp difference, a sharp distinction, a sharp disparity. You can say that too. A sharp rise, a sharp increase, economical, uh, costly. Uh, uh, what is it? The example here in the supermarket. Sharp increase of the uh, daily needs uh, price, like a, a vegetable oil, like eggs recently here in, in Jambi, my place, very expensive, 20,000 uh, increase, which is normal price. Okay, then what is the other tip for this? When you look up new word in uh, dictionary point or not, noting it down in several different collocations. I mean, you find sharp, what other that can join with this? Sharp one, sharp pain, sharp bend, sharp turn. As combination that enrich you with many uh, type of collocation. Okay, next, please. Ah. Be sure. And I have another. A yes, please. Yes. Who's that? Yes. Uh, that uh, yes. Uh, my question: What's different between collocation and phrase? There, phrase. Collocation and phrase, sometimes they are a bit similar because they're source of, of vocabulary, but phrase is a uh, combination, uh, what do you call it, phrase? Uh, like frasal phrase, frasal per, frasal phrase, uh, the combination with uh, some certain, what can I say this? Uh, uh, preposition? Yes. Yeah. You get like turn and off. Turn and down. Switch Thank you so off. much. It's on, something like that. Thank and you so then, much. Yeah, no mm. worries. I want yes. to ask. This is Nani. This is a solo wait, from wait. China. Yes, solo. Uh, uh, you're yeah, first I... and then solo. Yeah, so, okay. <laughs> sorry, I sorry. want to ask, can we say sharp word or sharp sentence? Sharp word? Yes, or sharp yeah, sentence. sentence of, yeah. Sharp sentence that I know sharp tongue. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> sharp tongue. That's kind of uh, uh, like we said before, catch the fly. Sharp it is like tongue. It is like hard word. Yeah, actually, sharp tongue is like uh, mocking someone. So far, I know. Uh, yeah, with a with a harsh word, something like that. You have a sharp tongue. One of my professors said that what sharp tongue? Yeah, oh, you okay. use uh, very very offended words, very harsh one. That okay, you have a sharp you. tongue doesn't mean you are clever. No, your words. <laughs> But something has no preposition. <laughs> Jim, you said don't put in the chat box, bring to the group. <laughs> I know, this is my revenge. I wanted to get revenge on you. Why? Well, oh, you yeah. always chat when I'm teaching. So... No, I never am anymore. I didn't do that anymore. Since oh, you, so you did you... it yesterday. You did it yesterday. What are you talking about? Yesterday? Ah, big liar. I didn't I will do stop. anything. I'm, I'm not chatting anymore. My chatting is done. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> There's another yeah. trouble here. That's why the head teacher doesn't need to be in my class. <laughs> learning collocation now, different from learning vocabulary item. The key thing is that? Oh, recording. From recording also, maybe... Some of you I heard uh, often to hear uh, podcasts, as most with recording, then you can learn some. Yeah, I used to learn from uh, British uh, BBC a podcast. There are a lot of topics. That's nice. Then sometimes um, I have a difficulty to find, to hear the word because pronunciation. 
Nani, uh, okay. yes. can, I, can I say Elvira from Russia? Can you hear me? Uh, yes. There is a wonderful website which is called youglish.com. There you can uh -huh. find any location and the, the way they pronounce the British accent, American accent, Australian accent. Yeah. So, youglish.com. That's just the perfect yeah. example. Yeah, the perfect example of context and the yeah, fun find pronunciation there too. i got that one from uh, the one we uh, uh, our group have pk pk someone sent me the collocation i don't know uh, where's the idea they send me that uh privately what <laughs> i don't know i don't remember it's a man send me need to learn collocation read this follow this enjoy this something like that yo please yeah okay thank you and from recording, you can find uh, some uh, other collocation example. Now, learning collocation, we need to quick run out time. It's not so different from many vocabulary, like uh, Siddhar asked, what the different phrase. Like the beginning unit one, I explained uh, collocation. Also, we learn uh, idiom and compound. Then now, this is uh, common with vocabulary many of their combination inside uh, this topic. Okay, when you're learning, you need to regularly, regularly revise what you want to learn. Specifically, if you want to master some kind of uh, collocation that relate to your uh, research, that uh, make a, a daily speaking with certain professor, you may prepare yourself like that way. I did that one when I was studying, then I need to prepare some kind of uh, collocation to be able to talk to that professor. That's kind. And then second, practice using what you want to learn. That's already discussed in the context. Then it is nice if you put them in the sentence rather than memorize them or playing like puzzle word to find the collocation because I have the puzzle word here with collocation. And... When the other word, the combination, when you find here, find a way, find your way, learn the hard way, with way. We can uh, search the combination with way. You can say, find a way, find your way, learn hard way, getting in your way. Sometimes we shoot in the chat, BTW, by the way. Keep a, a way to, okay? Scroll down, please. Scroll up, Mukhtar. Okay. I've tried every possible way to get him to change. You haven't scrolled up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I did. Now well, we I, come to the exercise. Uh, I'm sorry. To change what, do you mind. want me yeah. to move to 2.1? Yes. The okay, exercise. It's just go quickly. I want one that smart one. Uh, so long. please read one and underline the collocation, the text. Just mention. Read quickly, okay. then mention a uh, collocation that you consider it is collocation. My friend Abigail is desperately worried about her son at the moment. Yes. So I think desperately worried about is a collocation. Yeah, desperately worried just until there. He's desperately worried. And next, go, so long. He, okay, he wants to enroll on a course of some sort, but just can't make a decision about who, what to study. Yeah, so uh, how many collocations did you find in that sentence? He wants blah, blah, blah until to study. Um, I think two collocation. You are. What are they? Uh, in enroll on a course. Enroll. And... Enroll on a course. Yeah, enroll on a course. And make a decision. Excellent. Okay, one Thank more you. line. May I Before try? I, I get. Okay, let let solo finish this one. I gave Abigail a ring and we had a long chat about it uh, about it last night. Yeah, okay. What is yeah. the collocation there? Uh, maybe long chat. 
No. Check again with the word give in the past tense form. Uh, give or link? Give a ring, give an opinion, give an opinion, yeah, give a ring. And then what others? Um, um, One more. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, had a long chat. Yeah, correct. Uh -huh. We had yeah, a long just, chat. Uh, yeah, yeah okay. I just said the long chat is a collocation. Okay, Birth. then, okay, correct. Okay, finish them, please. Thank you. Uh, Claudette. Okay, she said she'd like to study for a degree, but is afraid he won't meet the requirements for university entry. Okay, mm -hmm. the first collocation we have, she said that she'd like to study for a degree. The, the, the phrase is okay, study correct. the verb, study for a degree. Yeah, and the second study for one, a degree. The verb, meet the requirements. Yes. University entry, another okay, collocation. Okay, correct. And the mm -hmm. last uh, sentence, Abigail, Abigail, not last, two last. Okay, Abigail thinks uh, he would, he should do a course. Do a course is a, uh, is another collocation. Collocation, yeah. In management, In management. Be, uh -huh, because he'd like to set up his own business. Set up yeah. his own business is another collocation. Yeah, correct. Uh -huh, in the future. I agree that mm. he would be a wise choice. Wise choice. A wise is choice. Wise yeah. Wise choice. That's the point, the, the collocation in the text. Yeah. Today I drill in the text. Next time I drill on the recording maybe. Yeah, based on the resource that I have. Now, we play another game here. Match the beginning of sentence on the left to the ending on the right. There are five Example here, you, uh, what uh, questions I gonna do? She's having what the best? She's having a party. Okay, do the rest. I want to choose uh, Usma, my dearest one. Are you okay now? Feeling better, uh, Usma? No. Uh, hello, Nani. Uh, not yet, actually, doctor suggested me go for uh, orthoscopy. It's a surgery. Oh, surgery, sorry surgery to with... hear that. Yes. So are you able to answer this or I skip? Uh, no, uh, I you can try? walk. But... Oh. Sorry? Can you sorry? try this to answer? Uh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. I... Okay, go. Number two until five. Okay. She's having... Oh, no, already. Answer number one already. I, I uh, ex uh, answer mine. Okay, two point Number two. Taking, taking what? Okay, she's having. Uh, she is having an exam. No, she's having a party. I already answered that one. Okay, <laughs> number okay, two. I said she's taking, she's taking, <laughs> taking she's an taking, exam. An exam. Okay, she's taking an yeah. exam. Yeah. Number okay. three. Number three. She is giving. Uh, uh -huh. a, lect a lecture. Excellent. Number four, making. Number four, she's making her, uh, she's making good uh, progress. Yeah, that's my student. I always say, you are making good progress. <laughs> okay, then the last. Last one, uh, she's doing her duty. She's doing her, her duty. duty. Yeah. Okay, excellent. We almost at the end. Two thirds. Correct the eight collocation error. Yeah. We find some error here. And who are able to correct them? Which one is the error? The underneath is for next meeting. Try to find the other uh, combination of words through dictionary. Okay. I want to. Can I read it? Yes, please. Who's that? Say Julia. your name, please. Oh, Joya, okay. please. Okay. Uh, correct the eight collocations errors in the text. In this errors, text. yeah. Okay. Uh, in the morning, I made some work in the garden. In the Have morning... Have you found one here? Have you found yeah, one I, here? Yeah, I do. Yeah. What is I that? did. Uh, okay. I did some work in the garden. Then I spent... Instead of made work, we can say uh, do Excellent. work. Yeah. Yes. And after that, then I spent uh, rest for... Uh, for about an hour before going out 
uh, going out to have some shopping uh, in town. Uh, we have mm-hmm. to do the shopping, not uh, have the sh- shopping, do the shopping. Now, before, yeah, but that's correct. Do the shopping, not have some shopping. Okay. Before, there is one. What is okay, that? I spent a rest. Uh, I spent uh-huh. not, uh, I had a rest. At the rest, not spend the rest. <laughs> yes, that's right. That's kind of mistake that we find many times in this group too. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Keep going. Uh, it was One my more sentence. Yeah. Okay. It was my sister's birthday, and I wanted to do a special effort uh, to cook a nice meal for her. Uh, do a special nice effect. meal. No. Okay. Yeah. What uh, is it? Instead of uh, instead of do a special effort, we say make a special effort. Make, make a special effort. effort. Yeah, excellent. Okay, okay, the last lines. Uh, who's gonna try this? Uh, may I? May I try? Yes, please. Who's that? The Elvira. <laughs> yes, Elvira. Uh, please go. Okay. Yeah, I gave a look at a new Thai cookery book in the bookshop. Uh-huh. Um. To give Did a you look. find one Take here? A look. Maybe a took, took a look. I took a look. Not took gave, a look. But... No. No, took a look. That's similar like spend a rest. We cannot uh, say have, spend a rest, but have, have a, a rest. Look. Oh, yeah. Have, have a look. A look. Yes, have a look. Yeah. Okay. Had a look. look. I had a look at New Thai cookery book. But, yeah. Okay. Excellent. Can I say the, I the next... But can we say took a look? Yeah, yeah, we can also some, say yeah, that can be matched too. Yeah, took a look. look. Take a okay. look, took a look in okay. the passport. Yeah. Uh-huh. I decided has... to buy it. Yeah, it's yeah. okay. It has some totally easy recipes, and I managed to do a good impression. So to make an, a good impression. So it's not to do, but it's to make a good impression. Yeah. But before, but before, to make a good impression. Excellent. We have another one. We have another one. Yeah. Instead Which of totally, one? totally easy. It's, oh. it's another one. Really? Totally mm-hmm. easy. Yeah, really easy. Really easy because Very totally easy. Very easy. Quite easy or extremely easy. easy. Yeah. Extremely easy. Mm-hmm. Good job. Thank you for saving more ad- additional that can be combined with this one. Okay, yeah. the last part, last sentence, I think. Apira? Shall I, shall I, shall I think? Okay, I think my sister utterly enjoyed her birthday. So instead of utterly. Yeah. Uh, something but you is, could put with enjoy. Um, That's correct. That's error. Absolutely, error. absolutely, uh, completely. Other? No. I think really, my sister, thoroughly, really, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, thoroughly, really. yeah. Enjoy okay. her birthday. Okay, okay, to summarize all. From beginning, so the aim to do this, how to find the source of collocation through your reading or through your uh, uh, listening. Yeah, when you find something, you have first highlight them and take them out and practice by your own sentence. Many times, not only once, once never enough. Sometimes we forgot. But many times then we practice, we already stick in our memory. That's gonna be easy to use in many ways, in your writing, in your speaking, in your uh, learning with other uh, native. Again, the secret, make it as natural as the native use. That's why the secret actually, I want to talk like a native, just follow this. That's the way they express the idea with collocation, with idiom, with compound, like before uh, she that said with phrases, you can use them. That's to end with uh, all of the uh, way to help speak naturally like native. Hopefully this point uh, topic today can help you more naturally speaking uh, like native, who has dreamed like native, but I never dreamed to be like a native. Though I learn a lot, but I don't want to like James. <laughs> or like other friends from America, from U- United Kingdom. No, I just want to be Nani with my ability with English. That's the exactly uh, like James. What is it? 
that's the reality. <laughs> okay, now we still have time. Who gonna try another collocation? We discuss a bit before we close. There's another topic here, how to learn them from dictionary. Yeah, scroll down please a bit, Mokhtar. Okay. Look at this entry from the verb lead. Lead, see? Lead, that's the verb. The past tense, let. Participle, the same, lead, let, let. Means, to control group of people or a country or situation like James lead James Green English class. James leads James Green English class, GCEC. Lead or the president lead. Uh, I forgot American president's name. <laughs> who, who knows this American president name? I don't. So Joe Biden. President yeah, Joe Biden. Biden. Yeah. Joe Biden and, leads and the United States. And he always forgets States. others' names as well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's it. <laughs> I asked Gemma to lead the discussion. I asked the chief of the class to lead the students to make a role because we're going to play game. I asked them. So this is another. Uh, help from dictionary. If you find it, you might combine with other words that, that collocate each other. Lead somebody by the nose. That's another informal way. By dictionary, they say this is what? To control someone and make them do exactly what you want them to do. It's by the ears in Arabic. Not by oh. the nose. <laughs> yeah. By the ears? I mean, How yeah, can in, it be? In, uh -huh. In Tunisia, we say to lead people by the ears means, you know, when you just, I mean, uh -huh. it, it's a metaphoric way, a figurative way that you just yeah, take them from the ears and, yeah. So instead of by the nose in Tunisia, yeah, it is similar like, uh, what is it? Idiom, something, yeah? Figurative. yeah. So lead someone mm -hmm. by the ears, the ears. Figurative. Yeah. So this means listen to the leader. Carefully or how? That's um, controlling someone and make them do exactly what you want them to do. We use it in a pejorative way when sometimes they speak about uh, some ladies leading their husbands by the ears. Mm -hmm. By the ears. <laughs> <laughs> That's happening. <laughs> it happens there as well. All right. Because my neighborhood. <laughs> Yeah. It happens in everywhere. <laughs> it happens everywhere. Yeah. We call it yen suami tundu istri. <laughs> obey. Obey. Husband just obey what the wife said. Yeah. Lead someone by the ears. <laughs> it should be the you best know? one. Lead someone by the mouth, not by nose or ears. Nani, yeah. do you yeah. know husbands, husbands are either handicapped or handpacked? <laughs> Can, can you say that again? Handpacked. Okay, yeah. say again. Handicapped. Handicapped or handpacked. Two types Hand of husband. Handpacked <laughs> or handicapped. Handicapped block your access. Hand, uh, handbag? Handpacked after all the time. All the time going uh -huh. down. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, handpack. <laughs> Who has another experience? Lead someone by the nose. We, we call it, the, we, we have the same here too, but we call it uh, uh, Suami Takut Istri. <laughs> Miss? How about, how about Claudette? Do you have, uh, yeah, yo, do you want to share something? Uh, I ever hear, uh, I, read, I have like, ever heard. I have them on my finger. How to say that? I have them. I have them on my finger means they will follow me follow what you. I want. Yes, I, I have, have them, them on my, my finger. fingers. It's, it's kind it's of like, idiom. It's like, a, it's like a ring in my finger. We say it here. Oh, in, in that's similar in Tunisia. A ring in my yeah. finger. Follow me. Like a ring in my finger. 
We it say it is in the polite way or it is in the uh, wrapped around my finger. Oh, wow. wrap, 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 oh, yes. wrap, wrap, my wrap them in my finger. Yes, that's what I mean. Mm. Oh, wrap them in my finger. That means follow yeah. you. So it sounds universal then. It's not. Uh, yeah, sound universal. Tunisia yeah. and, and English. <laughs> <laughs> wrap them in my finger. Okay, who else know about wrap? Collocation with wrap. Jane mentioned one, wrap them in my fingers. That's what uh, Lisa Park has, why them? Wrap fingers, right? So make sense if you put an object there, wrap them in my fingers. Just follow what you want them to do. <laughs> who any, anyone else who want to share with wrap? James always said wrap to the end. A wrap up. Yeah. Wrap something. <laughs> My no favorite one. one. No, I, can yes. I say, can I say? Yes, please. <laughs> Those on. Uh, I can't wrap my head around it, so I, I don't understand I, it. I wrap. I can't what? wrap my head around it. I don't understand it. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Who else before? Can I try it? Who's that? Uh, well, can I say rub off? Yeah, uh, I what is it? Rub off, rub off. Rub off. Yeah, I said Yeah, can um, you put in the sentence because it's come from you? Rub. Yeah, maybe we can say um, um, my dress was was ripped off when I um, I was walking or something. Well, rip off. Well, rip off. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's stuck on something, then it's drill, uh, drag it, and then the thread one by one, <laughs> then you have the rip off. Yeah. That sometimes happen with the, the, the girl. Yeah, I have seen this many times. <laughs> rip off. Okay, anyone else? Want to try with rap? Okay, maybe boring with rap. Um, how about we make and create with your sentence? Make. make Who hasn't up. Make, make up? Okay, how do you make a sentence, Amon? You go in front of your mirror and you make up your face. If, if, uh... Go to your mirror and put some makeup. Make up. Yeah, make yeah, up. Make yeah. up. Make up your face. Okay, other sentence? <laughs> okay, yeah. I have one. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, we can use it um, uh, with the mind. I can say, yeah, uh, I cannot make up my mind. Uh, for yeah, this, make up uh, my mind. Yeah. yeah. Make a decision, yeah? It's, yeah. To it's make hard to for me be... to make up my mind mm -hmm. on this case. Yeah. yeah? I'm between my mom I'm or between my, my, <laughs> my, uh, Daughter-in-law, something like that. Yeah. Make up, or make my up, life. Make up um, a story. Make up story, like PC story, right? You yes, just make up think, story. Yeah. Yes, Nani. Uh, uh, yes. And I think make up uh, means to, to search about a word on the dictionary. Yeah, you can find something that combined with it that create collocation. That's the meaning of this. But this is going to be part unit three. That's why I need to dip. Unit three, okay. that's the topic about this. How to use a dictionary to find more uh, partner of the word that we can put as a collocation. Uh, dictionary helps a lot. That's the meaning of this topic. Uh, the use of this book, they, they explored it uh, previously before the real unit. Okay, Amans, you raise your hands up. Are you going to create another make? Uh, make out, make out. Make out. What does it mean, make out? Something like, I hear uh, teenagers, I think they say something to their girlfriend. You want to make out? Something like that, I don't know. Like I never uh, make out, but I often say date out. Yeah, date out, something, yeah, something like that. Yeah, date <laughs> out. Did you do date that, out. date out your girlfriend? What did you say? 
What uh, have you said? <laughs> say, uh, I say, yeah, you, you want to go date out? <laughs> to, Yay! To... You're going to have a date out but, with Oman? <laughs> but I just bring but her to the... she answer you? No way. <laughs> no, 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 no. She say, she say yes, yeah. Let's go. Let's Yay! Go. Finally, you got the girlfriend. <laughs> but I only okay, bring good. Uh huh. Nani, Nani. Yes. I want to give an example. Aman's girlfriend um uh -huh. made fun of Aman. What is it? Made fun of Aman. To yeah. make fun. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> make fun is the collocation. Great. Yeah. Make yeah. fun. Yes, make fun. Yeah. Her girlfriend make fun of a man that she made him on me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's laugh about that. <laughs> joking, joking, Aman. <laughs> joking, Aman, don't get me. Sorry, Aman. It's just funny. <laughs> All my students are a bit naughty, Aman. <laughs> Miss, okay. I want to try. Okay, try, Joe. Uh, I can. It is about promise. I can do my promise, and I will make up later. Oh, I can make. Uh, I can fulfill. Yeah, you can do your promise yes. and make up later. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Okay, I want to hear two more. Uh, is it almost the end? Uh, yeah, yeah. Nanny, yes, can I please? Yes. yes, make. Uh, I remember make over to. It's yeah, uh, make over. Renew. renew. Yes, renew yeah, something. Make over. Uh, how do you put them into sentence? Uh, I I make over. I meet uh, two years ago. I meet over my furniture in my house. Make Can I over. Say that? Yeah. Yes. Make over your furniture. My, yes, furniture. in my house. Mm -hmm. So you mean you rearrange the style? Yes. Make Actually, over. <laughs> It didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> didn't happen? <laughs> Absolutely that, no. <laughs> that book that said make up story. <laughs> <It's a> story. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no more example. Make up story, this is story. <laughs> okay. That's the last one before someone give uh, another feedback for me. Okay. Who wants to try? One more last. Make. Uh, can I? Yes, please. Uh, okay. we, yeah, we can also use make with money. We can make money. Yeah, make money. Okay. Yeah. yeah, make money. Put them into sentence, please. Okay, I I always work hard to make some money for the future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good sentence. Work yeah. hard, you put there to make money or to make some money. Make yeah. money, yeah. Not create money. My students said create money. How do you create money? <laughs> Make money. That's why by uh, giving collocation topic, hopefully we more alert how do we use uh, our words uh, that can get along together, especially that makes sounds natural. Okay, that's the end. Then I want some feedback from you. Like James said, satisfaction, dissatisfaction, surprise, next move. What the other one? Nani, full satisfaction. Yes. And I enjoy it a lot. Okay, thank <laughs> you. Others? Uh, thank you. This is Khan for awards. This is Khan oh, for awards. I'm over the moon to getting this session. And I learned, Laura. Uh, a lot of collocation that I noted on my paper yeah. Facebook. And I also saw you also the dictionary of collocation by Oxford. Oh, yeah. I share with you the thick uh, one. I, I have own a, it. I have a question for, I mean, James or Nani. I mean, what's the difference between EDM or collocation? So, uh, how do I understand there is collocation or there is EDM? I mean, an EDM. The next move. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's next move. <laughs> I tell you later. <laughs> it's like an expression, figuratively. Yeah, it's not exactly like you said, break my leg doesn't mean you break exactly your leg. That means you have a good luck. 
Kasi figuratively. Okay, who else? This is a solo from China. <laughs> yes, please, solo. Yeah, I learned so many uh, colloquial and I uh -huh. think it is very unnecessary to stick in our memory and use mm -hmm. uh, when, you, when you speak or write the sentence. Uh, and thank you, uh, class. That's all. Thank you, Burka. Yeah, you're welcome. My pleasure to teach. Okay, anyone else? Uh, okay. Okay. Yes, Rossi, you said about my number. Now you tell me by class. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just for okay. fun. <laughs> okay. And uh, today I'm very happy to, to be just student today. And uh, for me, for me and for my students, collocation is very difficult and challenging mm -hmm. to study. And um, mm -hmm. I, I often um, ask my students to uh, install, install an app, an app on, um, on their mobile phone. Um, yeah, an application. Collocation. Yeah. Yeah, the location, listen, there is a lot. Yeah, yeah. young ladies, <laughs> if you put someone so here, that app. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's then very, how did um, you find the people, uh, students learn by that app? I'm is sorry to app? interrupt. I oh, hate to cut you God. off, but oh. it is time. It's a little, no, it's a couple please. minutes past time. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. I want to say okay. something, but time is up. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, you keep it for the last. <laughs> Thank you. Thank okay. you so much, I, Nani. I, I hope I can join no again. Thank, Thank you, everybody. Yes. Uh, hi, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Thank hi, you, everybody. Everybody. Bye, everyone. Thank you, everybody. Bye, everyone. Thank you, everybody. Everyone, okay. okay. Thank Thank you. You. Bye. Yeah. bye, Nani. Bye, bye guys. Bye. bye. Thank you. I was just joined a bit late. I was just joined. Rania, Usma. Bye.